Hi, I'm Tim Allen with Provident, here with Randy Carter, Technology Specialist at Anderson & Vreeland. We're here in Appleton, Wisconsin at the Fox Valley Technical College doing a two-part video series on how to best utilize your enclosed chambered doctor blade system. This video will highlight some tips and tools on how to maximize the performance of your chamber while keeping it clean and downtime to a minimum. Randy? Thank you, Tim. In part one of our video, we discuss the options and materials available in today's modern doctor blades. Based off those options, we've chosen to go with a high carbon Swedish steel with a wing lamella tip for our metering blade and a Mylar TCS or total containment system for the containment blade. Both of these blades have the patented RX seal. Inking systems can be messy. Let's take a look at three technical innovations from the Provident Group that can help alleviate this mess. The first innovation is called chamber wrap. This is a piece of poly material adhered to the back side of the blade that when put into the holder will wrap around the clamp bar adhered to the back of the chamber and completely protect all your tooling. The second patented technology from the Provident Group is the RX foam seal. This is a strip of foam adhered to the back side of any blade material that will seal the inside of the chamber and not allow ink into the holder. The last technology from the Provident Group is the TCS, or the Total Containment System. This is a Mylar blade for the containment side that is longer or wider than the typical blade and features a parabolic cutout at each end seal. This allows less back doctoring. I'm going to begin building our chamber system. I'm starting with a nice clean chamber. I have both of our blades and our end seals. I'm going to show you the proper techniques to assemble a chamber system. I'm going to begin by putting our end seals in. These are pre-lubricated on the felt side. I'm going to apply a little extra food grade grease on the inside where it slides into the chamber. So I have our food grade grease. Just going to apply a little bit. This will help keep ink from in between the end seals. We're just going to slide our end seal into place. and we're going to add our end cap. We're going to repeat the process on the other side. Now that we have our end seals in, I'm going to begin putting in our docker blades. The first blade I'm going to install is our metering blade. This is our high carbon steel. This features our chamber wrap system and the RX seal. The RX seal will be placed against the inside of the chamber. We'll slide the docker blade in between the clamp and the holder. and make sure that the blade is even and has the same overlap on each side. And then I'm going to tighten the clamp starting from the middle out. Once the clamp is fully tightened, we're going to apply our chamber wrap system. We begin by removing the adhesive backer. And now we will wrap the system all the way around and apply the adhesive to the back side of the chamber. We're now gonna install our containment blade system. This is our Mylar containment blade. Uh, it features the TCS system, which is this notch here, as well as the RX seal. We're now gonna install our containment blade. Foam seal, as before, goes into the chamber. And the blade is fully seated in the blade holder. And again, we tighten from the center out. I'm now going to install our built chamber into the PCMC press. Now our chamber system is installed and we're going to begin our press run. We've now finished our press run and I've removed the chamber from the press. Let's take a look and see what's going on. As you can notice, we have some ink leakage on the chamber wrap side and the non-chamber wrap side. So we, what we want to demonstrate is how easy chamber wrap makes it to clean up the process. I'm first gonna remove my containment blade system that does not have the chamber wrap. The top side of the doctor blade and holder has leaked and which will require cleaning. However, the underside has the foam seal, which prevented anything from getting inside the blade holder. We're now going to take out the chamber wrap system. Unlike the containment blade, the metering blade with the chamber wrap system does not need to be cleaned. Thanks for joining us in this video. Tim? Thank you, Randy. 
Well, that wraps up our video on doctor blades, end seals, and how they interact with an enclosed chamber doctor blade system. The products featured in this video are a small sampling of what Provident has to offer. To see our full list of products and services, please visit our website. Thanks for watching.